Hello guys, welcome again to another tutorial. Until now we installed and configured Fosrest, GMS Realizer, Nemio Correspondent. And now we need to add uh, our main bundle which is responsible for creating the token and register it and return it. So uh, this is our bundle, Lexic GWT Authentication Bundle. You type this in Google and you will get this link in GitHub. So let's start. First, of course, we need to download this bundle. So uh, we could get it here from the packages. So I need to type composer required XGWG authentication bundle. This URL is from here. And as usual, we need to add it in our terminal. So this will download our bundle, then we will configure it and uh, use it in our project. After we are, after a while we will we have our bundle installed as usual in the bundle folder. So, uh, just... yeah, that's it. It's it. So we will configure this bundle and activate it in the app kernel. We need to copy this and paste it here. After that, we're gonna make some changes in the uh, config. Also we need to generate the SSH keys. Uh, we will do the, this uh, first. So uh, we need to create the private and public that fan. Before that we need to add OpenSSL to our window. So that OpenSSL uh, will be recognized in the command windows as this. If you type it uh, without adding the open SSL, you will get a not recognized error. So you need to go to this link, you Google open SSL, and you get this as open SSL for Windows, and then you go to setup and download this setup. After that, you execute it and install it. So after installing uh, the open SSL in Windows, you will get this folder and then in the bin folder you will have the open SSL application. This application that will uh, generate our uh, private and public keys. So you need to add this open SSL to the environment path. So we type environment ADD system environment environment variables and go to path click edit and then you hit a new and you copy this and you paste it i have already done this here after that you need to restart php storm so that it will know what open ssl is my nose because I added before so you need to restart PHP storm and then open it so let's uh, generate uh, the public and private fan we'll generate it in the var folder here we're gonna create a config and put the keys there so we're gonna Go to var make directory config and create the two keys here. So we need to copy this. Ah, we need to change the path. You just we were gonna out this private fan in this folder in this config var config folder so we hit enter it will generate for us 
the RSA private key. We need the password for this. So you type your password and you confirm it. Put it back over. Put your own password. Yeah, I think it's okay. So after putting correct password twice, now we have this private dark time. With the private, we're gonna generate the public for uh, dark time. So I need to copy this. And we need to change the purpose. So as you can see, it uses the private dollar uh, in and output the public dot pen. Use the same password and throw the LSA key. So we have the public dot pen. Our uh, bundle will use those files to generate the token for us. So that's important also. So now we will configure uh, the, this bundle. So we need to add this in the config that we want. And add the uh, information that this bundle needs in the parameter that we want. Copy this and post it here. Also, it is preferable that you post it also in this file. So, so if you if you did the composer update, you will have them again in the parameters. So we have the GWT folder. Uh, let's change this one to GWT not config folder. Much better. So the factory GWT. And the other, I think it's because this is still open. So now we need to go to another folder, not config, and then we could change the name of it. Yeah, that's better. So we won't need to change those. And then uh, the GWT key passphrase is the same password that you use to generate the private and the public. Okay, so I use it Sparta. And that's it. Good. Change this again. And that's it. So we have the keys, the information of the files, uh, their location, and now our bundle could use them here in the configuration. As you can see, we have this percentage, so GWT token TTL is the same as this one. So it's, it's like we put the 3600 here. So it's the same. And that's the same for those three. So now we configured our bundle and we need to put the security facets. It has to do with the security that we do on it. So let's copy this, all of this, and we need to paste it here instead of this file. And we just yes. So the firewalls and the access control are in the same level, as you can see, are this in the same level. And I think that's, oh yeah, that's it, that's what we need. Here, and also in the routing, we need to add this. It's the same in the security. API login check. This is our first point to get the token from the server. This is the first point. So you need, you need to make a request to this login check. You need to 
add your username and password so if you have an access the this uh, this bundle will give you the token will return you a JSON object which contains the token uh, we need also to change this uh, routing since we are using rest we need to change this to rest and we will add the prefix dash api so that's it for this tutorial everything is configured we have our lexxgw authentication everything looks fine in the next tutorial we will uh, use doctrine fixtures bundle and this bundle we will be responsible for creating the data that we will use later in angular 2 so see you in the next tutorial.